Usually I'm accused of being the Bob Dickinson look-alike. Today you might recognize me from the tie, I'm the John Dalton tie. Uh, if we're going to do it to anybody, I can just see John's expression to that. <laughs> Don't do anything to it at lunch, and now you blew the whole thing. I would have wanted to see him when he came out. <laughs> <laughs> we, we in the travel law area can appreciate the whole concept of risk management. Last week I did a conference for ICTA, which they have brought back their risk management portion. And for those of you who are not ICTA candidates, I certainly uh, ask you to think about the professionalism you're going to be needing in the industry in these future years. And you go through something like that, you realize the type of problems that are coming up. This is going to be on updating some of the issues we talked about last year in Arizona, uh, looking at some of the newer problems that have been coming up, and how do we deal with them, and then hopefully don't have those problems when we come back in Vegas. When I went up to Seattle last week, I had taken an afternoon flight. In the morning, I had three calls, and I used them as an example of risk management to tell you the type of problems out there. One of them was from an agency that had thought they were selling. They had the new prospective buyer in for a week looking around while the seller went off on a camp trip. And somewhere in that week, the fellow said, well, I don't want the agency, and he left. Now, had never put any money down. The owner is smart enough. He's been to my risk management and preventive legal career seminars before, he wasn't going to turn over that ticket stock, right? You never do that. What he didn't realize is nowadays you just phone ARC, you order your ticket stock, or you fax it, a request, and it's out there in a couple of days. What had happened, he just met the delivery man. The agency didn't even know it had 800 more tickets until a couple of months later when ARC came in and audited it and they phoned and there seems to be a little problem with about $300,000 worth of memos that he really knows nothing about. <laughs> the next one was a uh, take off of what we heard today on the uh, credit cards, and I'll talk about that a little later. Somebody comes into an agency. You didn't listen to what Jason was trying to tell you on picking some of these employees or asking what was the personal problem. The personal problem was, they got caught with their hand in the pill. You've got to go into screening. 